What's up everybody, Anthony from Granddaddy Herps. Got a brand new Canon EOS Rebel T7i. So the video quality should start looking a lot better. And today I wanted to give it a test, first video with it. Um, you're gonna see me walk my dog, just bright early in the morning, father-in-law's in town. He left for Vegas at five in the morning with my brother-in-law. And I was hearing them crack up jokes all morning, so kind of woke me up. Plus, I'm an early early bird anyway. I'm a very light sleeper. Once I'm up, I'm up. So five in the morning, I decided, you know, let's go walk the dog. And so here's a clip. Five in the morning. All this girl wants to do is bust tricks and jukes. Look at her. Watch. Let me get inside. Zelda. Watch. 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 <laughs> Five in the morning. This girl doesn't stop. This girl just goes from zero to a hundred real quick. Real quick. Say hello. Say hello, Zelda. She is my Korean Jindo. Gorgeous girl. Look at her, look at her. She's got that one spot on her side. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go take her for a walk. Got the leash. The leash. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? So right now, um, on my way to go get some feeders for the snakes. Um, every Wednesday is my day off. I typically go uh, grab some feeders and I feed my collection live because now that I moved in October to Temecula, California, I have a very steady supply of live. So I prefer live. The snakes respond better to live. So I'm able to do it. I'm lucky because not everybody is that lucky. Um, and the reason why I prefer live is, again, the snakes respond better to it. It's better for them. You know, when the rats or mice are frozen, supposedly the probiotics, there's some probiotics that die off with, with the, uh, the frozen prey. So let's go get over to um, picking up the rats. At the bank, gotta get some money so I can get some ratatas. Put this baby in park, hit the emergency brake, push to start. Let's get it. All right, take a look at the beautiful Temecula, California. Moved out here from San Diego. Look at the convenience of modern day cars. I don't even have to get the key out. How convenient. All right, guys. Push to start. Let's get it. At the final light. At the designated pickup spot. Right up over there. And uh, let's get them rats, and then I'll show you guys what I got. They just got the rats. Need to hurry up, go 150 miles per hour home. Cause these things stink. That's the one, not the one. It's one of many things that sucks about keeping snakes. Um, now, of course, the positives totally destroy the uh, negatives about keeping snakes. But the smell of rats sucks. Lots and lots of food. All right, let's go feed some snakes. All right, guys, I'm giving you a sneak peek into the reptile room. This is all you're gonna get because I gotta do some remodeling and some cleaning. There's stuff everywhere. And I don't want you guys to think I'm a nasty pig. <laughs> but I got two of the uh, 32 quart racks on the on the left hand side of what you can see. Got my bearded dragons down here one looking at me saying what's up I 
I've actually got nothing in the tank above them. That's actually where um, I kept them like the first week I got them because um, I was searching for some of these melamine style cages for the beauty dragons. Then I separated the male and the female. Oh, there's the female laying up top on the right hand side. But uh, I'm gonna feed a couple snakes. I'm gonna give you the warning now. I only feed live, so if you're against it, you know, please skip to a different part of the video. I'll put a, a timestamp where you guys can forward to. I'm only gonna feed a few snakes because I got a lot to feed and I just don't have a lot of time right now with my day to, to film a whole bunch at this point in time. Alright guys, just got done feeding the snakes in the uh, snake room, quote unquote. Really good turnout today. Majority of my collection ate. There's only a few that didn't eat. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, there was only one snake that didn't eat. That was the pastel leopard. And um, it's because he's still acclimating. The banana head clown is an absolute monster. Like, doesn't even get into strike position or anything. Just within the blink of an eye, just like most venomous snakes, just bam, gets it. So, uh, it is now warming up here. So let's get the uh, AC turned on. Thank the Lord and the man that invented AC. It is an absolute must, 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 where I live, because it's known to get humid, it's known to get really warm where I live. So, I'm gonna turn you guys this is where all the magic happens, all the editing, all of the uh, multimedia, social media, everything happens here from printing, packing, you name it. It's all done in here. Not to mention, I'm actually a video gamer. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that. Um, not anything professional or anything like that, but I love to play PC in my spare time. I've actually built this PC myself. Let's see if I can get you guys a decent look. Got the the controller right here. But uh, love the game. I've also got PS4. I actually just had the um, the Wii U. 
in here the other day because I had a birthday party for my one year old turned one. Um, but yeah. Got the Corsair gaming mouse. Love this mouse. Um, had some bad reviews on it, but a lot of good reviews, and I've been nothing but happy with it. Got the THX surround sound. Spent some good money on the surround sound because, again, love the game. Love the sound of gunshots and whatnot. I've got my subwoofer down in here, you know, trying to keep the wires and everything as clean as possible. Um, got a mic because at one point I was starting up a gaming channel. Didn't really put too much time into it. I may start that up again, but I'm actually considering, I'm a huge fan of horror. I'm considering starting my own, um, how do I call it? Like YouTube channel where I narrate true stories, scary stories, stuff along the lines of horror. Because uh, I'm really big into that. I watch a lot of YouTube videos based, basically with all that. Like I'd say 50% is like snake videos and the other 50% is like horror. You know, and maybe, you know, other stuff here and there, but that's mainly what I listen to. Um, this is a setup, so I'm gonna edit all the footage I took today, and I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of me editing, and then that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Alright guys, that's going to sum up today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I haven't been on camera in a while and I really wanted to get myself on camera, especially with this new camera. See the quality. And can't, I'm so excited with this camera to start using some of the features, go into manual mode and really start trying to capture um, basically this, this camera's potential and you know enhance my videos. Before I go, I'm going to give out some shout outs. I'm long overdue with shout outs. Um, it's my baby. Um, that's my days off is me and my girls. So if you, I don't mention your name, it's not that I don't appreciate you. It's just these names basically came to mind and I went to my most recent video and I picked out a couple people that I know consistently watch my videos. So, you know, I want to give a huge shout out. Uh, first one, the Royal Ball Shack. Uh, great dude. Got a bunch of ball pythons, just hatched out a four banger clown combo. So go check him out in his videos, show your support. That's one thing about this community and why I love it so much. People say the ball python community is full of haters and I, I don't get it, I don't see it. You know, everybody shows nothing but love to me, you know. And when I comment on other people's videos, I see people tag me or comment on my comment saying, it's Anthony Granddaddy Herbs. Super cool, love you guys. Uh, Mid-South Morphs. Uh, this guy's awesome. I kind of feel like our collection is kind of going in the same direction. So I love watching his videos, his new pickups, bunch of clown stuff that he's getting into. Go check him out. And then my good old friend, Mark from Balls Out Ball Pythons. He's one of those channels where you just can't help but subscribe and love the guy because he's such a kid at times and I love him for that. And in his last video he was talking about how he's trying to not do that, but I told him, you know, I've subscribed to you for that reason because you are yourself you act like yourself you don't try to be something that you're not and he's just hilarious and not to mention he's got a kick-ass ball python collection uh, boxing boa another good friend of mine we're always you know talking on social media awesome um, boa collection carpet python you name it um, and he likes to talk about basically the politics which I love that aspect too you know it's good to get that information uh, Gray's Reptiles, one of one of the local herpers in uh, in my general area. I, again, I'm from San Diego. I just moved in October to Temecula. Um, I'm not too sure exactly where he is, but I know he's close enough to San Diego where he was recently at the San Diego Reptile Super Show, and he did a couple clips from that. So go check him out. Uh, newer guy, family guy, shows his kids in his videos and whatnot. So go check him out. Awesome snakes too, by the way. Uh, last but not least. The last name is really hard to pronounce, Andrew uh, Hardemink. Uh, been producing some awesome stuff this year. He's a buddy that's on the other side of the ocean. So go check him out, awesome snake collection. And like I say in, in all my videos, um, check out the people who comment on my videos. Check them out, check out every single one of them. I mean, we're all linked up. So this community, you know, we're all stronger together and 
Um, communication is key. And moving forward, if there's any video that you guys want to see, please let me know. I'm going to do a room tour probably in my next video. Um, I'm going to try to reorganize the reptile room, get it all nice and cleaned up, looking pretty. Um, because the way it's set up now, I, I, I've been itching to rearrange it. So that'll be the next video, hopefully. Um, that's the plan. But as always, guys, Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs, thanks for your support. Peace.